Hey everybody, Jumbo here, back with another booster box opening. Today I will be doing some Vanguard. It's going to be Dragon King's Awakening from the uh, G era. And of course today what I'll be looking for is uh, some Ward cards. Uh, not the Shmoney cards of the set. Uh, Shmoney would be like Claret Sword Helheim, uh, Ichikishima, Anastasia, you know, various various SPs, but also, you know, triple rare. Uh, Ichikishima is pretty good up there at a $13.10 market price. So uh, let's see what we can uh, let's see what we can pull off for our five and up club pulls. Uh, just want to uh, start off this video by uh, saying hello. You may have noticed I opened up some Pokemon, and in that video, if you watched it, well, you might not have watched it. Uh, if you didn't, I'm just going to point out, yes, myself, the fraud. I'm going to be opening whatever I want on the channel. I'm going to be doing it. I have been able to go out and do card fights for reasons I don't want to get into. It's unfortunate. But um, I just, you know, I started this channel to do openings because I like to collect just about everything. And I briefly betrayed myself. I briefly told myself, I'm going to focus on one thing because that's what the algorithm would probably like. But, you know, I think it's important to do what makes you happy. Especially as my boy Getting Lucky Training said, you know, if you're not if you're not doing it for fun, then you're doing it basically for business. And if you're doing it for business, then it's, you know, one, it takes the fun out of it. Two, you, you, you lose the soul of it. So for me to have absolute fun, it's really just going to be me collecting whatever I want. Which, you know, still is going to be a lot of Vanguard, um, some Magic, Pokemon, Dragon Ball Super, Digimon if it's attainable. Somehow Digimon is, is harder <laughs> to find than Pokemon. Um, and, uh, you know, some of the older stuff that I talked about getting uh, back in the day, you know? Maybe maybe open up some Power Rangers cards, open up some World of Warcraft cards, if I can get some Yu Yu Hakusho cards, stuff like that. Um, and as a result, you know, that means that some of the stuff that I'm going to buy might be a bit more... Um, might be a bit more expensive than I would like it to be for three videos a week. And that's what I really want to get into here, is that I'm going to try to continue the Monday, Wednesday, Friday upload schedule. But in the interest of getting cool things that are more interesting, that might be more expensive, you know, I might not be able to maintain that. So I'm going to try. But if you see me sort of slacking off for the three days a week, just understand that, you know, I, I have a life, I have bills to pay and stuff like that, you know, there I have needs <laughs> that, that require money to be addressed. And unfortunately, I am no rich man. So uh, so we'll see what happens. But understand that, you know, if there's if if I start to have less uploads, it's not for lack of interest. It's for lack of wealth. <laughs> um, but I have no interest in ever seeing this channel die. It's it's me recording something I want to do anyway for fun, you know, and just sharing it with other people who are like minded. Um, so sorry about that three minute fluff. Uh, if I lost people in the beginning, that's unfortunate, but you know, so be it. It is the way of the world. Uh, I just like to communicate with you guys and, and keep you guys on the same page. Um, of course I'll be using my Japanese Dragon Shield, matte black sleeves. Dragon Shield, please. I could, I could truly use the sleeves. <laughs> I, 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 oh man, the, uh, sometimes I forget about like the supplies like that I have to buy. And they're not super expensive, but you know I'll end up spending like a booster box in value on uh, on supplies often. So we got uh, Leilania's call. This is yeah. I was about to say this is not Vanguard. Excuse me. Was this them promoting their other game, Dragonborn? Okay, that's that's interesting. Maybe I'll maybe I'll uh, maybe I'll look into that card game. See how that's doing. That's we like that. That's actually pretty dope. Bushiroad has so many card games. Throw that little thing to the side. All right. So of course, you know, a lot of the money cards here, as always, are gonna be SPs. Um, and I know there's a special rarity in this one. Yeah. So we have obviously we have we have generation rare, but we also have super generation rare, so SGR, uh, in. Luard, as well as uh, Shiranui Mukuro. So let's see if we get lucky. And let's get started, folks. Should have busted out another. I should have busted out another playmat instead of the Martinol, but I like this playmat a lot. All right, so we have Refined Prodigy Asahiko, Hard Rod Draco Kid, Battle Sister Kip Furl. Knight of Deliberation, Memorine. 
Battle Sister Ganache, Rapor Miko Nazuna, Drag Wizard Semias. Separate those because I want to start uh, cataloging my stuff a bit better. I usually just um, put like triple rares and stuff like that away, but I, I really want to start organizing maybe by rarity. Make it easier on myself in the future. We have Electro Butcher Dragon, Whistling Arrow Eradicator Kosanjo. It's a dope looking card. Uh, Miko of the Daybreak Moon Akizuki, Mutual Love Maiden Valila or Valila. Hauser Dario, Stealth Beast Mei Mudanuki, and a double rare Summon Lightning Dancing Princess Anastasia, and it is a PG as well for the Narukami Clan. So I'll put that in its own little pile since it's a PG. Really hoping I get a Lord. I know it's not the most valuable card in the set, but I, I really like I want to have all the Lord cards. We have Swift Owl, Integrity Flower Maiden Ritalina, Pulsar Obstinacy Ox, Protective Cat, Efficient Carp. That's a dope looking, <laughs> that's a dope looking fish. I play a, a shoot 'em up game called uh, Darius Burst. And it has like uh, mecha aquatic life as the bosses, so that's kind of what this reminds me of. We have Stealth Beast Gekiso Okami. And Triple Rare Stillwater Festival Deity Ichikishima. Wow. So that's dope. So we have the Triple Rare Ichikishima, uh, Ichikishima uh, with a market price of $13.10. I believe it actually sells for a bit more, but again, we go by the market price. So that's dope. That's going to get sleep for sure. Grade four there, little G unit. That's a throwback G unit. Oh my lord! If you know, you know. All right, so we have Wyvern Strike, Tim Yars or Tim Lars, Tim Lars. Demon World Castle, Van Genbeze. Steam Links, Nadine. Miko of the Morning Moon, Haruzuki. Lupinous Knight. Oh no, that's a spoiler. Mighty Bolt Dragoon. Awesome, we got the reprint up in the other set, I think. And Chrono Tiger Gear Glare. That's our double rare G unit. I don't believe this is one of our special babies. No, it's not. There are no double rares in the five and up club in this set. It's too bad, so sad. I kind of want to separate it anyway. I mean, it still goes in the double rare pile regardless. So we'll put it right there in our double rare pile and call it a day. Sometimes I get tempted to like keep one pack sealed just because I, oh, I don't even want to get into it. I have a problem. We're not even going to discuss that. <laughs> uh, Stealth Rogue of Detonation, Ted Yoshi. I just, I just think they look so nice. Drag Wizard Enid. There we go. Got a drag card. Maiden of Breed Rain. Steam Knight Shulgi. Eradicator Drag Phoenix. Got a rare G unit, Protector Lotus Maiden of Yggdrasil, Wifey. And another rare, Flame Column Eradicator Castrus. Yo, that, let me tell you, that Maiden of Yggdrasil. I didn't say anything. I never said a word. Ooh, what's this? Got a Shadow Paladin, Gigantic Shudder. Stealth Dragon Hoji. Pedigree Knight Tigress, Maiden of Glowshine, Eradicator Sharp Impact Dragon, Sweep Almer Setlin, and a triple rare Midsummer Flower Princess Lieta. Yo, what is she? What is going on there? So one of those is a gun. What's oh wait, is she like fertilizing the plants? Is that what's going on? She kind of looks, she kind of reminds me of uh she got like a look, looking like she's going to church in her Sunday best <laughs> with that hat that she's rocking. Uh, unfortunately, she's not in the five and up club, but still a very dope looking card for Neo Nectar. She's a, a bioroid. I need to look into Neo Nectar. I really, I really have never given them the time of day. Maybe it's time. Maybe it's time. I 
again. When it comes to Vanguard, on art alone, every clan is collectible. Now Nation, but... I always say Nation, like, I was like, oh, it's a Nations now. But honestly, that's just for standard. Like, Premium is very relevant. So is V Premium. We got Fast Speed, Stealth Rogue, and Genzo. Air Elemental, Blue Rune. Stealth Rogue of Repudiation, Yorihira. Oh no, Little Benefit Dragon, almost getting overlooked. And Hauser Dario, our rare is Fleet Lightning Helena. And another rare, Battle Sister Bomb Cushion. Alright, and with this pack, we finish the first half of the box. We're looking at Demonic Dragon Berserker Chatura, Demon World Castle Van Gimbeze. Battle Sister Kipfer, Steam Links Nadine, Drag Wizard Bud, got a rare Cherishing Knight Branwen, and another Stealth Beast Gekiso Okami. I feel like I've opened this set before, but I haven't. These are just cards that were reprinted, I guess. I'm just recognizing some of these units. And we got. Plasmatron Dragon, Fast Speed Stealth Rogue Genzo, Stealth our Steam Links Emmy, Weather Girl Shake, Pulsar Thruster Bison, a rare Battle Sister Bamkushin, and a triple rare Eradicator Dragonic Descendant Sigma. Now, unfortunately, we are not in the 500 club with this bad boy. The SP would have been, but you know, you can't win them all. You can't win them all, but oh, ooh, look. Oh, I love how the light hits this card. It's so, it's so hard, cause like you gotta aim it towards the light, but then the sun glare obviously kind of blocks it off a bit. It looks cool. It looks dope. All right, so let's move on to our second half. We're not doing so bad on ROI here with uh, Ichikishima being a $13.10 market price on a $30 box. Actually, I think I paid like 26 or 27. Electro Butcher Dragon, Made in the Breed Rain, Miku of the Daybreak Moon Akizuki, Flower Pot Elf, excuse me, Eradicator Sharp Impact Dragon, Got a rare G unit, Sacred Tree Dragon, Rainbow Cycle Dragon, and there's another rare. It is, it is Smash Boxer Dragon. Yo, this dude looks dope. This dude looks dope. I would play this in a MOBA or a fighting game, absolutely. Absolutely. It is a, it is a dragon that likes boxing, excuse me. Yes, absolutely. Absolutely, that's cool. All right, so we got Tracking Eradicator, Doku Kaku, Doku Doku Kaku, Doku Kaku, oh no, Doku Kaku, Jesus, Lord, Doku Kaku, Jesus Christ, Doku Kaku, Jesus, Lord, that was a, that was a time, that was a special time. Pedigree Knight Tigress, Maiden of Glowshine, Weather Girl Shake, Pulsar, Thruster Bison. Got a rare Stealth Dragon Ungo and a double rare Drag Wizard Nois. <laughs> nice. We're gonna call it Nois. Sick Nois. Dope art. Life is worth sacrificing to contribute to research. I don't. I don't know about all that. I don't know if I would commit to that. But you're a drag card, so we're just gonna. I'm just gonna pretend I agree with your life philosophy. We got Blue Espada Dragon. Oh man, I put this dude up against uh, Black Luster Soldier any day, sweet lord. No consolation required, just leave your head behind. Excuse me. Okay. Tracking Eradicator, Doku Kakuji. Ah, Doku Kakuji. Oh, no, Doku Kakuji. Oh, no, Doku Kakuji. Doku Kakuji. Doku Kakuji. Jesus lord. Well, that, that is a name, all right. That is a whole mouthful. All right, flower pot elf. There we go. Something nice and simple. Nice, cute, simple art. Flower pot elf. What a what a what a simply delectable, beautiful, easy to approach name. Easy pronunciation. The English language didn't fail me. How nice. So we got elite Heath. 
Drag Wizard Bubbidi. Resistant Lemon. Is it actually a lemon? It's actually a lemon. It's actually a lemon. You can expect the ability of Citric Acid that prevents damage. It's also a PG, so we are going to put that in our separate little PG pile. That's nice. We have a reprint. Dragonic Vanquisher, dope. I don't believe, I don't even know if they show this card in my little list here, but let's let's take a look. Yeah, they do, 56 cent market rare. No biggie, no harm, no foul. No harm, no foul. All right, so it's a reprint. I'll just, I, I, am I giving a reprint its own pile? You know, whatever, for all intents and purposes, why not? I won't be getting another one, but it's just good to keep them separate. I'll put it in the back when I organize them. All right, so we got Swift Owl. Stealth Dragon at Dreadmaster. Oh, Red Eyes Black Dragon, wow, wouldn't you know it? Oh, it's also Ridley from Metroid. Wow, it's just the, the references, they just don't stop. We got Pulsar Obstinacy Ox. Maiden of Karantos, ooh. Reminds me of uh, Zeta from Grand Blue. I'm sorry, I'll stop. Efficient Carp. One Advantage Miko, Nanase, as our rare, and a G-Unit Drag Wiser, Bronak. Don't think that our seriousness can be overcome by such degree. Well, I'm gonna put you in your rare pile. I almost wish I had a pile for G-Units. I mean, what am I doing? I just, look, look, organization is half the game. It's half the game, folks. If you're not cataloging, are you really living life? I have been doing a horrible job, but I recently picked up some five row boxes to uh, start organizing better. I should have got dividers. Maybe I'll use the promo cards that come in the plastic as dividers. Maybe I'll just be that guy. So you got a uh, Defar Bottle. Stealth Rogue of Detonation, Toriyoshi. Goddess of Congregation, Tagirihime. Knight of Prudence, Memoried. Soothing Eradicator, Gyokuman. Maiden of Produce, that is a name. And a double rare, Supremacy Dragon, Claret Sword Dragon Revolt. Oh my, the tears of blood, they don't stop. <laughs> what, just what? What, yes, yes. Quite simply, yes. That is what I have to say to that. All right, we got uh, two packs here, folks. Two packs, anything could happen. I wish it had been the SP, uh, Claret Sword Dragon. I'll take it though. Whistling Arrow Eradicator, Kosanjo. Gigantic Shudder. Plasmatron Dragon. Pulsar Tamer Hagald. Battle Sister Churros. Steamlings Adaro Apara. And another rare Morion Spear Dragon. So we've got the last pack, and we could use some last pack magic, folks. We could use some last pack magic here. We got Stealth Beast Kazemomo, Weather Girl Lassie, Little Benefit Dragon, Steam Gunner Shushin, Force Wind Eradicator Shiva. All right, we got a we got a G unit here with Mystic Wisdom Creation Brahma. I don't have I don't have much faith in that last card, folks. But please pray for me. Please pray. Please. Oh my goodness, I can't. Can I not cross my fingers? <gasps> Can I not cross my fingers? Is it because my because my fingers are so mighty? Have I grown so weak or have I grown strong? I'm weak, actually. I'm horribly weak, it would seem. And a double rare battle sister marmalade. Hey, it's a PG, I'll take that. It's a PG. I got a PG for three different clans in this box. That's pretty dope, actually. I'll take that. Well, folks, as far as shmoney, as far as the old ROI, uh, we only got one sick pull which is still water, festival, deity, Ichikishi, Ichikishima, sorry. When your prayers reach the deities, pain and suffering will cease. Well, you know what? Maybe I'll, uh, maybe I'll start praying. Maybe I'll start praying for some better pulls. But you know what? I'm not upset. I'm not upset. I have, uh, I have enjoyed the pulls that I got from this, actually, because the art was so, was so sick. I actually really would like the SP of uh, Claret Sword uh, Dragon Revolt. I could possibly get it. Let me look at uh, let me look at the Helheim actually, just see what it looks like. 
I'll be honest, I think that this one looks way cooler than, uh, than Helheim. It's just my personal opinion. But I think it looks cooler, honestly. With this very edgy quote as well. Or was it double wear pile? Alright, so that is the end of this video. Folks, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Uh, to anyone who is uh, lamenting me uh, diluting the grand golden pool of Vanguard with other content, I apologize. But, uh, you know what they say, you gotta... You gotta, you gotta chase your happiness, folks. You gotta chase your happiness. And you know, I encourage people to do the same. You know, if you, uh, if you are a, a collector, especially if you're a YouTuber, but if you're a collector and you're interested in other stuff, go on and go for it. Feel free to diversify. You know, it's like, there's a lot of cool stuff out there and people, you know, only ever really looking at the big three. There's a lot of people who missed out on Vanguard. Well, not missed out, I mean, that's there. You're just, you're 10 years late, but it is what it is. Um, but you can actually get some of the older boxes for a pretty good price. So by all means, feel free to, uh, feel free to look into what's out there. Cause you know, some of the games don't last. And I mean, if you're, depends what you're collecting for. I mean, if you're playing, then I absolutely say you should look at what's out there because you might not get to play these games for super long and you know, you want to enjoy it while it's there. You know, I don't, I don't ever hear anybody talk about force of will anymore. I, I don't even know if that game is still active. But I want to go pick up some Force of Will cards. I picked up uh, two decks and uh, some packs like years ago. And uh, I opened them and I was like, wow, this is really cool. I never played it. And now I'm getting into this whole collector group thing. And I'm like, you know, I got to go back and get some uh, Force of Will. What's actually tragic is that the shop I bought them from um, during the pandemic, it seems like they, like they went out of business or maybe prior. Maybe before, but I'm assuming during the pandemic, which is, which is a damn shame. You know, it's it's a shame what's happened to all these small businesses. So do remember to support your your local businesses, folks. You know, I know people are out there going looking for the big three, uh, in Targets and WalMarts. But you know, make sure to check your local shops, whether it's for the big stuff or for the small stuff they have. You never know, you might find some jewels. Uh, so definitely, uh, definitely give them a look. And uh, yeah, guys, I just, you know, I hope you guys uh, are enjoying the hobby in whatever way you choose to engage with it. If all you do is watch videos, that's cool, too. I greatly appreciate you taking the time out of your day to watch my videos, and I hope you enjoyed them. Uh, if you did, uh, feel free to like, drop a comment down below with some suggestions of what you'd like to see me open in the future or anything you have to say about the content, really. And uh, if possible, if you like it, you know, drop a subscribe, maybe share, uh, share the video with your friends or share any of the videos that you found interesting. And uh, yeah, I would greatly appreciate that. As much as I appreciate you being here and sticking to the end with all this uh, fluff commentary. <laughs> but um, yeah, I really appreciate y'all. Uh, appreciate y'all. Thank you for stopping by and I will see you in the next one. Jimbo out.